everyone, this is Pico Entertainment and we're back again and here now we have another video for you and we're going to talk about Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny once more and do some box office reporting for the weekend, Friday the 7th to Sunday the 9th of July 2023. And you can check out both my non-spoiler and spoiler reviews of the movie plus reviews of previous Indiana Jones installments within the channel and I'll leave some links within the description. So we then go on to the numbers for this weekend and unfortunately it's more embarrassment for Indiana Jones as whilst it had a standard 56% drop from its opening weekend, making $26 million, it lost the number one spot to low budget horror movie Insidious The Red Door, which itself took the number one spot with an impressive $32.6 million. Very good given the fact that its budget was only 16 million. The Insidious franchise started way back in 2010 and overall has been a prime example of movies of low budgets but always going on to make sound amount of profits hence why they continue to get more and more entries within the franchise and because of the horror genre it will always have a low budget but still franchises like insidious are a lesson for other studios to learn from especially when we are seeing such huge escalating budgets for so many mainstream blockbusters just in 2023 alone which leads us back to dial of destiny which when looking at its overall worldwide take now currently stands at around 247 million. So still we're likely looking at a maximum of four to 500 million when all is said and done. Now I could be being very optimistic there given already the mixed and negative reviews. It would be even more disastrous for Disney and Lucasfilm if the film fails to reach 400 million. Now there's been so much online commentary surrounding Dial of Destiny and regardless of where you stand, it's undeniable that even with only its second weekend, Dial of Destiny is a massive underperformer and with the upcoming Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 next week, which has already been billed to become one of the biggest movies of the year and possibly only the second film to gross $1 billion worldwide, this Indiana Jones movie is definitely looking like a flop, very sad for Disney and Lucasfilm overall. Now the other standout story this weekend was The Sound of Freedom, which came in at number 3 with around 18 million. The action drama produced by Sansa Fe Films and distributed by Angel Studios covers the real life accounts of Tim Ballard, a special agent for, for Homeland Security Investigations who looked to track down child sex traffickers and abusers. Such deep and powerful source material such as this barely gets a cinematic release nowadays, normally it gets shifted straight to streaming, so overall I think it's very good to see this movie enjoying theatrical success haven't already grossed over 40 million worldwide from a low budget of 14.5 million. Now there's been somewhat of a controversy and I use that term in inverted commas mainly once more on social media surrounding the movie in terms of its subject matter and its overall release schedule but I'm not really going to go into that I just think overall in terms of the movie it is quite a good achievement in seeing this type of film reach theatres in general. Now despite all of this we will get the usual narratives of how this is somehow changing off the guard and this is a major strike against the big studio corporations such as Disney, Marvel, Lucasfilm etc. But once again we have to really just get some perspective here just because a film that is very much against the grain or the standard trend enjoys a bit of success it doesn't mean that we are going to see a major shift in how movies are made or released in the future. Sound of Freedom, as I mentioned before, is a very good success, but it's not a game changer. There have been plenty of movies for decades now that have covered equally tough and uncompromising subject material and have also enjoyed success at the box office. And just because you have a film like Sound of Freedom that enjoys some sort of success, it doesn't mean that all of a sudden we're going to see less remakes, less sequels, less superhero movies. It's just not going to work out like that. And as many people have explained, if there is a downturn or a decline in the overall big budget blockbusters, it's far more as to how they are budgeted and also their overall quality and how they are marketed, not because of any small successes such as the sound of freedom. But despite all of that, it's still very good, as I mentioned before, to see a film like this enjoying some success theatrically. So we will then quickly talk about The Flash, which finally crossed that $100 million mark domestically. As we've been talking about for the last couple of weeks, this movie is a guaranteed flop and not only that it also gained a distinction as being the biggest superhero movie flop in history. So nothing really more else to say about this, we know the Snyderverse is coming to an end with the upcoming James Gunn era, so really now we look forward to Blue Beetle and how that performs when it overall comes out I believe in the month of August. So those are my overall thoughts and feelings on the second 
box office weekend for Indiana Jones and Dial of Destiny and also talking about the successes of both Insidious and The Sound of Freedom. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Which movies do you think made a big impact this weekend and how far do you think Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning will go next weekend? Do you think it can become only the second movie this year to cross that $1 billion mark? Let me know what you think in the comments and if you have any other suggestions regarding any other movies, television series or any other topics within the entertainment genre that you'd like to see me cover then also let me know within the comments and I will see if I can provide further commentary for you on that subject matter within the future. Please also hit and like the subscription and notification buttons so I can provide with more high quality content like this in the future. But that's it for now, take care of yourselves and I will see you very very soon.